All right, uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to get set up in your QuickBooks Online, especially getting a chart of accounts and things ready to go on that side of uh, on that side of things. So first, you can uh, set up your account. I just set this business up. Uh, it's one of the companies that I am working on right now. Um, I'm part owner of, but um, you can add a logo here. You can um, just you can go in here to your account and settings as you go. And so you can enter all your details. That's where I update our logo, company email, website, those kind of things. And then there's specific settings here on the sales side. If you're going to be doing sales receipts um, in here, then, then these are good fields that you want to look at as far as um, do I add discount amounts or take deposits or those kind of things from these sales forms. Uh, those kind of things, same, same thing, um, expenses. Uh, bills and expenses, how, how you want to show these. Do you want to track expenses by uh, customer so that you can see in a report uh, what expenses you're incurring for what customers? Do you want to be able to make expenses billable where you're billing back the, the customer for travel expenses or things like that? So you can set all of your settings up here. Another thing I would advise is, is to get set up with Intuit payments or QuickBooks payments. Uh, what's incredible right now is that auto ACH is actually free uh, so what I what I can do is is get if I'm doing sales re receipts and everything get uh, auto set ACH set up for a lot of clients or customers and I can just draft out their account and there's no charge for that so I don't pay the processing fees on that side of things um, these are other just accounts all over you want to go in and make sure and account numbers are enabled just as we're going to import account numbers. Uh, if you want to do class tracking, say you have different departments and things, but if you're just setting the things up, I, w I wouldn't recommend doing that right off the bat if you've got a small business or you're just kind of selling one, one type of thing. Um, so you, you go in the settings there. So now we'll look at uh, getting the chart of accounts set up. And so what your chart of accounts is really what it sounds like. It's just the names of all the different accounts, both on the balance sheet and the income statement. Uh, so this is where every everything that comes in, everything that goes out will be assigned an account and journal entries and all that will stem from your chart of accounts. So um, what you do, and I have just imported these accounts. Um, so there's a lot more than what you'll see just as you, if you just sign up for QuickBooks Online, there's only a few when you sign up for QuickBooks Online, and those are the ones that aren't actually um, numbered in here. These were the, one, were the ones that were already in QuickBooks Online. So you can see there's very few that you start out with. Uh, what I've done is just, especially for, this is for online retailers, set up a standard chart of accounts. Um, Again, you can adjust this a little bit. This is just the way I like to set them up. Uh, this follows in regards to probably a historical standard of account numbers, uh, both for the balance sheet and uh, the income statement. And so these five, you know, these different numbers form different categories when it goes. So it just helps you um, make sense of and more cleanly organizes all your things. That's why I recommend account numbers. And when you do reports and all those things, if you don't want those to show in your reports, you can easily go into those settings again and disable account numbers. It won't delete them, but it just won't show them on those reports if you don't want those. But it's just it's helpful. And if you're coding things, you begin to get you begin to know uh, regular accounts that you code to. So what you can do is go in here. I provide a download of of this, and I'll I'll put a link to where a link to my a business site where you can go and, and download the standard account for online seller. Again, we're going to hook this up with Shopify here in just a minute. Um, but uh, so you go in here, here we are in chart of accounts. If you forget where that is, you can always go to the gear icon and hit chart of accounts. But to import them, you're going to you're going to hit import. Um, again, I've already set these, mapped these to the actual QuickBooks you know, how they come in here. So we should have no issues here. There's a sample file, which you really don't need because that's what I've just done here. Uh, hit browse, share, spareware chart of accounts, which is uh, what we're going to bring in. So what it's going to do is upload those. We're going to hit next. These are all mapped again, according to QuickBooks and how they're going to show up. 
and this has a hundred says 137 accounts coming in. I gotta just change this. I'll change that on the just the way it was written out. Um, so it says 137 accounts ready to be imported. All I would do next is hit import, and all those accounts then would be brought over. I just did this. I'm not gonna do it again. Um, so I'm gonna leave without saving. But what it would look like is exactly like this. What I've just in, put in here. Um, so you now would have a chart of accounts ready to go. Now, if you're not experienced at bookkeeping, if you haven't done it much, I, I really would recommend um, looking into someone who, who knows what they're doing on the book side. This is one of the common issues I see. I actually run a cloud-based bookkeeping service called the Trellis Club. Um, and I work with online retailers, all, all kinds of different uh, small businesses to help them kind of create an automated system on the financial side uh, to learn more about their business through reporting that I provide and then also to help give them a what I say a financial trellis to really build out on uh, help grow their business or I, I work with nonprofits too but that's what I that is one thing if you've had very little bookkeeping experience my my first suggestion would be to to try and find someone who knows bookkeeping and it's worth paying for. Again, you can let me know if you're interested. I try and again bring fees down by automating everything. Uh, but I would I would suggest this not be done on your own, or you can get into a lot of issues. Or it gets to the end of the year and tax time, and you're heading over to your CPA and uh, gonna pay thousands and thousands, probably more than you would if you just had someone who knows bookkeeping. Uh, do your book, do your books. So just my uh, small soapbox there on bookkeeping that we want to keep these, these are, this is an organized set of charter accounts and we want to ensure that your business is organized uh, to enable you to have the most accurate information there. So the chart of accounts is now in here. Um, so if you, any, anything that hits those accounts, then you'll see, I, again, I haven't set up anything else like a bank account or anything else like that. So it's not showing any any profit or loss, but if so, those accounts would, would come in. Uh, next step you'd probably want to do is set up your bank account. Again, do not, do not, do not use your personal account for your business. Get a business account, get a uh, small business account. It is worth it. It separates your transactions. It, you don't have to deal with all, everything that comes along with uh, trying to sort out your personal business. So uh, make sure you get a business banking account. Uh, you can link it right here. All the transactions will come in, and from there you can code things and match them too, so you can make sure everything's in order. But uh, you should be ready and set with a standard chart of accounts. If you're in a different industry and you want some help on chart of accounts, or I, I have some different standard ones, just uh, send me an email, drew at the trellisclub.com. And I can uh, try and see if I've got a standard one I can send you. I'm, there's no charge or anything like that. Um, but I'd be happy to do that just to help you get going on your uh, QuickBooks Online. Again, QuickBooks Online, I think, is the gold standard of uh, accounting software. I would I, I encourage everyone who even uses desktop to move over to online just because that's where all the investments come in. There's so many new integrations that are just frankly, just easier on you and it'll make things more efficient and you have access to your data anywhere you want with an internet connection. So there we go. Next time I will look at linking uh, some of these things, uh, a Shopify account to a, um, yeah, to your QuickBooks Online.